Hey guys, it's Rain from Rain and Cameron. Um, and today I did, let me just get it out. Okay, today I did this look right here. Um, it's really classy and it looks, it reminds me kind of of a pinup look, but um, with orange instead of reds. It's a little bit of a toned down pinup look, a little bit more wearable. You can wear it with different lips, without crazy lips or anything like that, and it still look really nice. The main thing that I was using today was not this, this. This e.l.f. palette, um, I mean duo, it's the one that looks just like Nor Narcissus Orgasm and Laguna duo um, because uh, I got this look idea actually when I was in Chicago um, because I had to pack up most of my makeup because I was packing up to go home and I was trying to make the stuff that I had to take on the plane to do my own actual makeup that day as small as possible. So I used the blush and bronzer duo. Um, so I wouldn't have to take eyeshadows and bronzer and blush and stuff like that to have a full face look. Um, and so yeah, that's what I'll be using today is a blush and a bronzer. You can use powder products like that for pretty much anything. Experiment, try things out. Um, so yeah, this is the completed look. Hopefully we'll make Tuesdays, Tutorial Tuesdays. Um, and I will see you guys all later. Have yourself a great day. Hey guys, um, so let's just get right into this look. Um, I might sound a little crappy because it's the morning right now. So I'm just going to start off by putting um, Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Wait, that's upside down. Urban Decay's Primer Potion all over my lid. It's just the original one. Alright, um, to make things a little bit shimmerier, I say alright too much, I gotta stop that. To make things a little bit shimmerier, shimmerier I'm gonna be taking Max Shade Stick in Beijing. It's kind of, wait, there we go, wearing off, but that's it. I'm gonna be putting that all over my lids. First up for the colors, I'm taking this blush palette, um, the e.l.f. blush and bronzer palette. Um, this one looks just a lot like Naris's Orgasm and uh, Laguna duo. Yeah, so first up I'm taking a fluffy flop brush just like this. And I'm um, putting it in that pink color. I'm putting that down across the lid. Okay, next up we're going to be taking um, this pencil brush. Um, these, This is from Crystal Sense. I'm really not sure where this one's... Oh, this one is from Royal Lang Mikhail Brushes. And Brush Essentials. I'm not sure what that means. Anyways, I'm taking the most part of this brush into the um, bronzer from this palette. I'm working that into my crease with a little bit of um, an edge out here. I'm just going to be blending that edge out with nothing on this big brush from probably Crown Brush, something like that. I'm going to be going back with that pointy brush and just adding a little bit more definition. Um, let's bring a little bit more definition into that crease. I'm going to be taking just a little bit of a darker um, brown. This is just from some like cheap color culture palette. Okay, um, again I'm going to be taking my Coastal Sense M10 and M09. Um, the M10 is going to be blended out on um, the outer colors with this brush and then the M09 is going to be the highlight that's closest underneath my brows and that's going to be done with this brush right here that has some flyways on it. <coughs> but yeah.
To bring a little bit of shimmer into this look, I'm going to be using one of the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. These are those ones that are coordinated to eye colors, but it's like the first ones that came out because I have quite a few since this one came out. This is just the one for blue eyes. Got it for Christmas quite a while ago. Um, the one thing I really don't like about this is if you can see right here, when you start running low on one color, it goes in like the next color shows up in the pan. I don't really like that because then now I have a little spot I have to avoid. I don't really see the point in that. Anyways, I'm going to be taking this one right here on this flat brush right here. And I'm just going to be putting that on the middle of my eyelid to add a little bit more shimmer to this look. Alrighty. Um... For underneath my eyes, I'm going to be taking this palette again. I'm going to be doing this for the outer third. And then I'll be taking with this brush the pink on the inner third. And then I'll do my highlight. I'm going to be adding a little bit more um, highlight to the inner. Ah, I smushed it. One thing I really hate about the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils is that it's really easy to smush them into the cap and do stuff like that. Which really sucks. Anyways, I'm going to clean that up and put some of that on the inner corner of my eye to highlight even more. For my powder highlight to set that, I'm going to be taking the Restless Pigment from L'Oreal's Hip Line. This right here. It's got that yellow powder with the pink duochrome. I'll be working it into this brush again and putting that on top of the um, milk base I put down for myself. Okay, really quick off camera, I'm going to do my eyebrows with the usual products. They're all worn out, yay! <laughs> with, for my eyeliner, I'm going to be taking this NYX or, or NYC eyeliner. And this isn't actually just in black, it's in pearlized black. And I really like doing this one on looks that I'm trying to make more subtle because um, the pearl, like the sparkles in it, really just diffuses the black. There's a bit of that right there. So because it has that pearl in it, it um, catches the light and makes the black look just a little bit lighter, which um, makes it look a little bit less intense. And then I'm going to curl and apply mascara to my eyelashes after I put on my Sephora base. And then my Buxom Lash from Bare Essentials. See you guys after. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to mention, um, in my waterline, I'm going to be doing this really <laughs> old, used up NYX um, white eyeliner waterline. Hey guys. <coughs> oh wow. Um, hey, uh, while I was gone, I also put on my foundation and concealer. This foundation from Eve Pearl. Super nice, not really a full coverage, but it still does like a really good job <laughs> of evening out skin tone. And then my CoverGirl and Ole uh, Simply Ages concealer. Um, so for my cheeks, I think I'm just going to apply this blush. It's from Hard Candy. It's called Pin Up. It looks like mineralized, super shimmery. I really love it. And then. For my contour, I'll be doing the Sunny Bronzer from NYC. And then my highlight will be the Smashbox Soft Light or Fusion Soft Lights Baked Stardust. Which I'll open that up for you actually. Looks just like that. So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes.
Hey guys, for lips, um, I'm just going to be doing, this is um, usually something I pretty much only use for theater, but I'm using it for now. It's the number 7 lipstick, and then the color is Sienna. And then on top of that, I'm going to throw on this freaking awesome uh, Sephora lip gloss. And then the color is Golden Embrace, and I'll see you after that. Hey guys, so this is pretty much the completed look. I'm just going to spray myself with my Scandinavia setting spray. And there, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today, and I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully I'll keep doing tutorials on Tuesday, so it's Tuesday Tutorial Day. Um, that wasn't as cute as I thought it'd be. Tutorial Tuesday? There, that sounds better. Um, but yeah, this is already getting a little bit too long, so I'll see you guys later. Much love.